but we have video of of a Durango, I think it's Durango high school body cam footage. Let's see what's going on with these students. Here we go. That's our breaking news tonight at 11 o'clock, getting our very first look at body cam video from an ugly incident at a local high school last year involving CCSD police. That video released just a couple of hours ago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. The footage being released late this evening by CCSD depicting the moments before, during, and after that incident. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer joining us now from the newsroom with what we're learning from this latest video release. The video is showing not only the moments before the altercation, but as you mentioned, a new angle of the incident and the school police officer explaining why he believed it happened to the student, characterizing it as a simple situation that became a scene for, as he said, no reason. You want to get my attention, you got it, bud. Newly released Clark County School District police body camera video shows the moments leading up to an incident at Durango High School last February that was previously only caught on cell phone video by a student. The initial interaction evolving from a discussion between a CCSD PD Lieutenant Elfberg and a student accused of walking in the street to putting another student's phone down. Start walking. Then Elfberg telling students to continue to walk because they are, quote, blocking the sidewalk to immediately detaining a student that Elfberg said was not continuing to walk. Do it, do it. That leading to another student being detained for not walking as Lieutenant Elfberg had ordered in a moment we had only previously seen on cell phone video. Don't touch me, Don't touch me, Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Hey, hey, Don't touch me. Hey, hey, Don't touch me. Hey, hey, Shut the hey, up. Hey, Shut the up. Hey, Shut the up. Hey, you better back the up. What are you going to do, dude? Back the up right now. Following. As soon as... As soon as one of them officers would have jumped on his little bit of ass, he'd have been crying to his mama. In that altercation, huh? Elfberg explained to the student in handcuffs why he was being detained. I can come and stop anybody I want. Do you understand? Sir. Second of all, where did I stop you at? Hey, you stopped me over right there, right there. And that's in the middle of the street. That's jaywalking. So that's an offense that I can put you in handcuffs for. That's jaywalking. And then when I tell you to come over here, I can talk to you. You start pulling away and getting froggy. And so, buddy, I don't give a sh what your excuse is. You don't get to do that, young man. I like that. I like the way that he just talked to the young man. Because the thing that the young man has to learn, and hopefully he learned it, just don't care nothing about your feelings. Just don't care nothing about nothing. The officer just showed him who has the power in these situations. You can feel some type of way, little buddy. If I ask your ad, that listen, God damn it, let's chop it up for a minute. But you acting off, you trying to show off in front of you. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can beat your ass out here in these streets, and damn, they get away with it, huh? So I'm glad that the officer just had a word with him like that. Now, is it right? I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but I know it's beneficial. Or characterizing the situation as one that erupted from, as he said, a simple interaction. Do you understand how simple it could have been? Yes, sir. You, him, and all these other cool little fools are over here making all this scene for no reason. Little fools making the scene because they feel like they will not be held accountable for anything. You understand? So I'm glad that he gave that dog and you boy that dog gonna talk. You need that talk. Listen, you will be treated different. You will be treated different than your lighter hue brothers and your sisters out here in these streets. Now, we also saw parents reacting as the scene was unfolding. One woman pleading with officers for a student to be released, saying that he had done nothing wrong. There is a lot more from this video that we will get to you in our future coverage as this story continues. Reporting from the newsroom, James Schaefer, 8 News Now. The ACLU of Nevada releasing a statement shortly after that video was released, saying in part, it's shameful that it took nearly a year for our clients and our community to see transparency from CCSD and its police force. Meanwhile, the CCSD police union provided a statement prior to the release of the video, saying Elfberg, the officer involved here, brought that situation under control. He was very courteous and professional to both the students and a parent who attempted to get involved. Mm. Uh, back him up when he was trying to check, check little buddy. It shows the moments leading up to an incident at Durango High School last February that was previously only caught on cell phone video by a student. 
The initial interaction evolving from a discussion between a CCSD PD Lieutenant Elfberg and a student accused of walking in the street to putting another student's phone down. Start walking. Then Elfberg telling students to continue to walk because they are, quote, blocking the sidewalk to immediately detaining a student that Elfberg said was not continuing to walk. So what did I do? That leading to another student being detained for not walking as Lieutenant Elfberg had ordered in a moment we had only previously seen on cell phone video. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Back the up. Back the up. You better back the up. What are you going to do, dude? Back the up right now. Following that altercation. Back up. <laughs> Get off me, I do something to you. And Elfberg explaining <laughs> Patricia talking out here. God damn it, Patricia Churn out here acting the fool. To the student in handcuffs why yeah. he's being detained. Whether we agree with the officer or not, the officer did tell this player here some good shit. I can come and stop anybody I want. Do you understand? Yes. Second of all, where did I stop you at? Hey, right, there, right there. And that's in the middle of the street that's jaywalking. So that's an offense. Yes, he thought that he was his mama. He got checked. Yes, he did. That's what I can put you in handcuffs for. And then when I tell you to come over here, I can talk to you. You start pulling away and getting the target. And so, buddy, I don't give a shit what your excuse is. You don't get to do that, young man. You don't get to do that. You don't get to do that. This shit could have really, really, really went left. Wolfberg characterizing the situation as one that erupted from, as he said, a simple interaction. Do you understand how simple it could have been? Yes, sir. You, him, and all these other cool little fools are over here making all this scene. All you little fools because it's, it's a bunch of high schoolers. And again, they are being raised by social media. They, they don't have the proper fatherhoods at all the house they don't have masculine energy around them they have nobody really checking them on anything mama mama working mama ain't got time to be watching the child that she love and shit and because they are teenagers that they really do get to really raise they self at a at a certain point so you're really not being checked you're really not being corrected and on social media they not seeing children be corrected so they will continue to act down and act ass and get themselves in a whole bunch of trouble. And we'll have like groups trying to come down on law enforcement for checking their ass like they need to be checked. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much hold you.